Welcome everyone. If you're here, it's because you want to learn how to use Mixamo animations to animate your uh, Unreal Engine character. This can be really anything that uses an Unreal Engine skeleton, the mannequin, uh, anything from Epic Marketplace, or even MetaHumans. So with that, let's get started. First things first, we're going to need to download the converter. So go down to the description and head over to the link and download the Terabilis uh, Mixamo converter. And then from there, we can get started. All right, so this right here is the Mixamo converter. Uh, I'll have a link in the description so you guys can download this, uh, but it's pretty simple to use. The first thing you wanna do is go over to the right uh, where it says main menu, and under that, click on enter the conversion process. Okay, once you enter, you're gonna see a bunch of Unreal mannequins. You wanna choose the mannequin that has the same skeleton as the skeletal mesh that you are using. Um, so if you download something from Epic Marketplace, there'll usually be something in the description saying it's rigged to the Epic Skeleton. That's usually UE5. Sometimes it'll say UE4. So just make sure you're using the right mannequin. In my case, I'm gonna be using Manny from Unreal Engine 5. So once you click on it, it's gonna bring you to a folder that has the skeletal mesh for Manny and Manny Simple. Um, so once you have that, go to Mixing Mo, and then you can click Upload Character, and then I'm gonna just use the uh, Manny Simple FBX. Uh, so load that up into Mixing Mo, and then after a short while, you should see the skeletal mesh um, inside the website. So now that it's in there, uh, you can kind of browse any of the animations. Um, I'm not going to show the animation I'm using, but I will just pick uh, maybe some little dance moves since I'm just teaching you how to use this. Okay, this is a cool dance move. Um, so on the right, you'll see focus, stance, overdrive, character, arm space. You can play with these things to make sure um, you're not getting any clipping or everything's looking good with the actual animation. Um, but once you feel good with everything, uh, go over and click download. All right, once you hit download, make sure it is uh, without skin and for under uh, keyframe reduction, make it uniform and then click download. Um, make sure you download it into the incoming FBX folder within the Mixamo converter. Um, it'll be saved along next to the actual Mixamo converter software. So make sure it goes into that folder because that folder is what the Mixamo converter is gonna um, basically take from. Okay, so back inside the converter, if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see convert the animations and you'll see the animation you just downloaded because right now it's grabbing from that folder. Um, all you have to do is click on, uh, actually go to the bottom. I click on this by accident. Go to the bottom where the little girl is running and do uh, click to convert the animations. And then you'll see the animation pop up on the right uh, under animations converted. Um, so if you wanna access that file quickly, you can just click open the folder. Uh, in my case, I kind of save it somewhere else. Um, and then also if you scroll down, it'll show you the parameters that you need to basically import it into your scene. So go back to your um, outgoing FBX, uh, drag and drop it into your content browser. And then you're gonna see this panel pop up. Um, change the first one to, or skeleton to SK mannequin. Um, and then you can kind of copy all the different settings I do here. Um, the Mixo converter kind of tells you what to do, um, but if you copy the settings I use, this tends to always work for me. Uh, in this case, from what you see here, the only thing I'm gonna undo is the add uh, curve metadata, um, but everything else, how I see it right now is how I want it. Okay, so now that my animation is imported, uh, I open up a camera sequencer and just bring in um, the mannequin. This isn't a necessary step. Uh, I just kind of want to show you um, the retargeting effect from the mannequin over to our desert soldier. So first one is the uh, desert soldier added to the sequencer and then I add in the mannequin. That way we can now see both animations. Um, so just clicking on the plus sign next to animation, uh, I'm gonna scroll down and find the animation we just imported. Usually they end up popping up at the bottom. Um, and then if I click play, you'll see her not dancing because we have a uh, um, control rig in effect. So once I delete that, you'll now see her dancing. Cool, so now the idea is we wanna retarget this animation over to our uh, Desert Skeleton or Desert Soldier. Okay, so now let's open up the content browser. 
uh, type in RTG in the search bar. And then there's three different options here. I'm gonna use the RTG to mannequin because that's usually UE5 to UE5. Um, so the top right, you're gonna see source, which is the, our uh, mannequin. And then target, you're gonna see the desert soldier. If you don't have a desert soldier, click down on preview mesh and change that to your preview mesh. Uh, also make sure that the skeleton is doing is correct. Um, once that's done on the bottom right, you're gonna see a large list of animations. And at the very bottom is our animation. So I'm just gonna double click on it. And now you're gonna see in real time, the retarget from our UE5 mannequin over to our desert soldier. Um, so if you want it, all you have to do is go to the top, click export, export the animation. Um, now, when I go back to our camera sequencer, I can click on our desert soldier, click on animation, all the way at the bottom, you're gonna see our animation. I can add it and if I click play, Voila, they are now dancing. All right, well, hope you guys liked the tutorial. Please like, subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.